In this tutorial, we'll solve the navbar collapse not working in Bootstrap. All right, so I just have a simple example here. If your navbar collapse is not working, most likely, most likely you're not linking to the correct CDN links. So if you go to the homepage of Bootstrap, make sure that when you Google for Bootstrap Docs, the first link is actually an older version, version four. We're in version five now, so if you click on the logo, you should go to the homepage. And the homepage always displays the latest version. So here they show include via CDN, and there's only two links that you need to include. So for the CSS, I'm just copy and pasting that here. Right, and then for the JavaScript, the JavaScript already includes popper, right? So it's only one link and I just pasted it here. Now be careful because I'm 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 linking to it in the head section. So I, I included the defer attribute that will not that will make it not block parsing the rest of the page, right? So it's actually really important that you have mastered the underlying fundamentals like CSS and JavaScript when you work with Bootstrap. I have courses on them. If you want to take them to a professional level, check out the description links. Right. But this link, this um script is already including popper.js. So you should not link separately to popper.js because it will cause bugs. These are the only two links that you need, right? So if you do this, then try again and see if it works. Now, if it's still not working, you need to check if your data attributes are the correct syntax. So we're in version five, they're actually called data BS toggle, for example, and not data toggle. This was in the past. Right? That won't work anymore. So we need to use beta data BS toggle. Same goes for data target, right? So all of these data attributes, make sure that you check them for the correct syntax. They have BS as an infix now. Okay, now if it's still not working, make sure you're linking to the correct ID because here we're using a bunch of IDs. My data BS target, it has the hashtag symbol, make sure it's there as well. And then the name of the ID, so the ID here is this one, right? So make sure that these IDs match up. Here I'm, I'm using it again. Oh, that's actually for area controls, which is for accessibility, but there could be other, um, you know, linking to IDs that don't match. So make sure it's all uh, correct. If that's still not working, go to inspect, right click inspect go into console and check for any errors and then solve any errors that you may have. And if it still doesn't work, it's probably best to just go to the documentation and let's see docs. You can just go to components and then navbar and then just copy one of the examples because you're not going to remember all of this from, from your head, right? Because it's, it's a big component. It has a bunch of classes. The HTML structure is, is, um, is set up in a particular way. You're not going to remember all of that. So you're not going to be able to code this from scratch. It's better to just go to the documentation, copy one of their examples, and then modifying it to get exactly what you want, right? So just do that as a, uh, as a last effort. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.